Hi, this is Brent Campbell. If you didn't know about inflammation, the topic that I covered in the last video, you surely never heard of oxidative stress. Thing is, there's so much to cover. I'm going to break this up into two videos. The first will be about what oxidative stress is and how it affects your body. And the second video, which I'll do next, will be about what you can do to minimize it and live much longer and better for it. Let's start with oxidation. Our bodies get energy by burning fuel with oxygen, combining digested food with oxygen from the air we breathe. Oxidation is a metabolic process that, sadly, also creates harmful byproducts, like free radicals, which, if you recall from chemistry class, are electronically unstable molecules that attack their neighbors in domino-like chain reactions, and thus create yet more unstable molecules in their wake. By the time a free radical chain fizzes out, it may have ripped through your cells like a tornado, causing tons of damage in the process. And this is basically how we get diseased slowly over time. Now, oxidative stress is the burden you put on your body by the constant production of free radicals that come from everything around you that you absorb, from the food you eat to the air you breathe, to the environment that surrounds you. Over many years, chronic oxidative stress damages our tissues, which ages our bodies early and brings diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. While some free radicals are formed during cellular energy production, they also develop in response to environmental influences like cigarette smoke and UV radiation from sun exposure. An inflammatory diet also increases exposure to free radicals. Thankfully, our bodies are not helpless to oxidative stress. We have defense and repair mechanisms that take care of oxidative damage to DNA, proteins, and membranes. Vitamins and nutrients in our diets, which are called antioxidants, quench free radicals by donating electrons to them and cutting off the chain reactions before they can do any damage. Generally speaking, your health depends on the balance between oxidative stress and antioxidant defenses. With strong antioxidant defenses, long life without disease becomes possible. Only when too many free radicals are produced and overwhelm your body's repair mechanisms does your body create oxidative stress. When there are more free radicals on hand than can be kept in check by antioxidants, free radicals have free reign to damage fatty tissue all over your body, which then lead to all sorts of diseases over time. Scientists have linked oxidative stress to aging and pretty much every type of disease, and I'll give you some examples. Arthritis, cancer, pulmonary disease, chronic fatigue syndrome, diabetes, glaucoma, heart disease, inflammation, insulin resistance, macular degeneration, neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's uh, and Parkinson's, and the list goes on. So then what specifically causes oxidative damage? For starters, an inflammatory diet high in sugar, vegetable oils, and alcohol, among others, and not enough antioxidants from berries and veggies, and some nuts, cigarette and e-cigarette smoking, environmental toxins like pesticides, cleaners, uh, pollution, radiation, not enough sleep, which leads to circadian rhythm disruption, blue light exposure from LED lights, TV screens, monitors, smartphones, not enough physical activity, and iron overload, just to give a few of many examples. So the best way to stay healthy is to maximize the antioxidants your body absorbs and to minimize the free radicals that your body creates.